Welcome back to your processing video tutorials here on YouTube. The last video we were looking at adding a representation of a real world object which we call the ball. And our ball had two properties y and dy which let us put the ball on the y coordinate plane. Now we want to make sure that our ball can be also positioned on a 2D plane by adding x and dx coordinates. So I've added an x coordinate with a value 400 and a dx coordinate with a value 0. This means our ball is going to appear at 400 comma 100 which is 400 along the x-axis and 100 down the y-axis but it is not going to move on the x-axis. In addition I am also going to create another variable which I'm going to call size and it's going to have the value 50. This is going to let me draw a representation a graphical representation of our ball on the screen. And we're going to use the size to determine how big this representation is going to be. The last thing we need to add here on our ball class for now is a way to actually draw our ball on the screen. And for that we're going to create another method or action which we're going to call display. And this display method is going to draw the ball on the screen. And in order to draw the ball, we're going to go back to our file and just copy this ellipse command, put it here. And instead of that, it's going to be x, y, 50, 50 is the horizontal size and the vertical size. In this case, we want to use 50 for both. So size comma size will place the value 50 comma 50 in both. And now whenever we tell our ball to display, it will draw an ellipse at x comma y with a size of 50 50. So in this case 400 comma 100 and 50 50. Then we have to go back to our main file and there is a couple things that we have to do. The first thing to do is we need to tell our file that instead of just using an ellipse we are now going to use this new representation we have created and the way we do that in processing with Java is we say the new representation is of type ball just as these values were of type int which means whole number this new variable is going to be of type ball, which is our newly created representation. I am going to call it ball with a lowercase b. And this ball is going to be a new, notice how this is a keyword, ball. So new gives us a new representation that comes from this file. And ball is the same as that but needs a couple of brackets at the end. And we're going to look at why it doesn't need those brackets um, in a couple uh, videos time. So don't worry about those for now. Okay, so now our ball has these properties that we defined up here. And also it has these two actions. So that means we can display our ball or we can move it up. So instead of drawing the ellipse here, we're going to say ball dot display, and instead of moving or changing the y coordinate, we're going to say ball dot move up. Because we are no longer using y and dy, we can just delete them. And I'm going to put a couple forward slashes in front of these, and that means they won't be executed. Um, just for a moment, we will end up using this code again in a couple of videos time, but just not right now. So, obviously what this is going to do is it is going to display our ball the first time, then it's going to move it up, then it's going to draw a background on top. 
and then it's going to display the ball but it's going to move it up and draw a background on top so the ball is going to be moving up until it disappears off a screen and I don't think you could see that so I will run that again so there you go the ball just disappears because this logic to turn it around isn't there yet So there are a couple problems with this ball, as you may notice. We can only move the ball up. We've got no code to move the ball down or anything like that. So we can't change the direction yet. We're going to add that in the next uh, video. And we don't have a way to see where the ball is from here. We don't have a way to check if the ball's position is greater than the height or less than zero. We don't have that yet. And we're also going to add it in a couple of videos time. So in the very next video, we're going to make sure we can move our ball in all directions, and then we'll go from there. I'll see you in the next video.